Wow, it's been quite some time since the Secrets, Tweaks, and Fixes update for the Pokemon Sinnoh Project came out, but welcome back! In this update 4 video, we will cover everything that has been completed up to this point. But before the video starts, I just want to touch on one thing. That long gap in uploads for the update videos. As most of you know, I'm in college and that takes up most of my time, but I will always keep my promise to finish this project, even if it takes a little longer than planned. Now with that out of the way, let's get right into the video because we have a lot to go over before the run through. Firstly, the Mount Coronet problem. Yiwi and I were able to figure out where Mount Corona is canonically placed between Orberg, Eterna, Celestic, and Heart Home using the very detailed drawn up version of the Sinnoh region. But apart from placing it correctly, we also had to build it correctly, which was why we decided to build it away from the region itself and structure block it into place once we finished. Secondly, the trees along Route 216, 217, and Snowpoint City. Now you must be asking, what's so hard about trees? And I'll answer you with everything. Literally everything. Fuck trees. Specifically those ones. They nearly gave me and Yiwi depression, simply because they all needed snow to be placed on every layer of them along the routes in Snowpoint City. Meaning it all had to be hand placed. Doing this specific task took so many mind numbing hours off camera to complete, and really made me consider if I wanted to continue the Minecraft Sinnoh project. But I fought through the thought of quitting and pressed on, eventually finishing and seeing that it came out great. Never give up kids, unless you want to, in which case give up by all means. Of course I'm joking, maybe. But anyways, why don't we start the run through with all the new areas and I'll interrupt your viewing experience to give you facts here and there. Sound good? Good. Here we go. Huh? Snow? Well that's right! In Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, it's always snowing on Mount Coronet. Considering its placement within the Sinnoh Project world, I'm unable to have it always snow, so how is it snowing? By using Command Box Routine Teleports, I am able to change weather effects and have it snow when you exit the cave, and clear up when you enter the cave. I did the same exact thing for Route 216, entering and exiting Lake Acuity, and Sinnoh Transport System. One other quick little thing is that you can see Mount Coronet from nearly everywhere in the region. My favorite place to see it from is when walking out from Floroma Town. Absolutely beautiful.
Looking up a spear pillar from anywhere else in the Sinnoh Project world, you might think, that area is pretty small. And yes, it's not nearly enough space for spear pillar. Instead, spear pillar is 5,000 blocks away where we had enough room to build it, and even Dialga and Palkia are waiting for you there. Wait. We haven't even started Garatina's distortion world yet. Sorry to disappoint, but that'll be an update video down the line. I'm very disappointed. By using the Azure Flute, you're teleported another 5,000 blocks to an exact copy of Spear Pillar, this time with Arceus' Staircase to Heaven and God himself waiting at the top. Ah, Snowpoint City. I loved running around here all the time as a kid while playing, and yet I never realized the city was built in the shape of a snowflake. I'm not even joking. I'm this dumb. I mean, look, look, look at this. How did I not realize? Here's a picture from the actual game of it. 
whatever, whatever, just, just continue the run through, but in all honesty, it was really cool to find out for the first time. In the next update, I will finally be going over Cantalob City, Iron Island, Full Moon Island, and New Moon Island. Once that update video releases, the entire left side of the Sinnoh region will be completed. I'm so glad I could finally get this update video out. I've had the video recorded and sitting on my computer for months. I'm so excited to get back on the world and build more once my schedule frees up, but in my free time, I will still try to build when I can. Usually I would say how long Yiwi and I have spent building, but uh, yeah, I can't do that anymore. My save file kept track of how long I had the game open when building, but it corrupted. I'm so upset about this, because I just lost a 600 hour save file, I think. I guess I'll just have to run through it again uh, with my action replay.